Mr. Maddox channel. My name is Latanya Redfern and today I'm going to share with you my Play-Doh area. So my Play-Doh area in my classroom consists of some shape and number stampers, some lowercase stampers, uppercase stampers, I have some Play-Doh rollers which has different style rolling instruments in it. It also has some texture style instruments in it. And of course, hammers, which the children just love to hammer out their Play-Doh. We have homemade Play-Doh in our classroom that is made monthly or as needed, but it, it is made every month. We change the color every month. And then we have regular Play-Doh that we buy also in our classroom. We have Play-Doh tools. Um, your scissors and scissor cutters and scissor rollers and different things that you can use with your Play-Doh. We also have our Play-Doh cutters, so your cookie cutters, different styles. We kind of change those out with the seasons and things. And this month we have our Play-Doh builders out. Um, we've been talking about our five senses and we've just been teaching the kids about the Play-Doh area and how to use it, which we do every school year is to try to um, teach the kids how to use the areas that are in the classroom. So this is just a lead into learning how to use the Play-Doh area. So as long as you have your Play-Doh area labeled um, and sorted out so that the children know where things are going, it's really, really easy um, to keep it organized for them to use the Play-Doh and use it in a way that they're using their, all the developmental domains, cognitive learning, language and literacy, um, math and science, they're using all of those things. Um, they're building relationships with other children and talking. They're doing all those things while they're um, working with the Play-Doh, whether it be independently or as a group um, or with just another child. They also always grab a tray when they're working with Play-Doh for at the tables. It's just part of the process, their, their routine of using the Play-Doh area um, when they're working with Play-Doh. So I just wanted to share that. I'll drop another video along with this video on an activity that we did um, this month with our Play-Doh and five senses and what we were working on. We used the um, Play-Doh builders to, um, to kind of learn about our five senses. So thanks for watching as always. This is Latanya Redfern, Preschool Fanatic, checking out. I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you again on my channel. I hope real soon. Bye-bye. Yeah. 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 Yeah.